If you enjoy this video, make sure to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you never miss out on another absolutely fantastic review. Enjoy! Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing SH Figuarts Alien Guts. Alien Guts comes from the 1967 show Ultra 7. Alien Guts are a race of beings who seek to conquer the Earth. In order to execute their plan, the Alien Guts know they must eliminate their greatest obstacle, Ultra 7. After studying every aspect of Ultra 7 through a series of attacks, the Alien Guts begin to execute their grand plan. The Alien Guts decide it would be more effective to make Ultra 7's defeat a grand spectacle to demoralize the human race, causing them to simply give up the Earth. Now, Ultra 7 must gather up all his strength and help he needs to defeat the Alien Guts invasion. Be sure to check out the 1967 show Ultra 7, it is absolutely fantastic. SH Figuarts Alien Guts is another fantastic release in the SH Figuarts line. Alien Guts has a fantastic sculpt, paint apps, good accessories, and a great range of articulation. Let's jump right into it and take a look at Alien Guts himself. Alien Guts has a great range of articulation. First, let's start with the head. Now, thanks to Alien Guts' massive head design and the accent here in the back, we cannot look up much at all, but we can look down quite a bit thanks to the ball joint in the neck. We can barely look left and right. The shoulders have a great range of rotation. They can rotate a full 360 degrees. The arms can come up a little bit less than 90 degrees. We have an entire arm swivel. We have single jointed elbows. The hands are on ball joints so we can tilt and spin them freely. In the upper chest, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side and lean side to side. In the waist, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side and lean side to side. The legs can kick forward this much, backward this much, and come out to the sides this much. We have a thigh swivel. We have single jointed knees here. And then finally, the feet can tilt and swivel. Now, I know it seems like Alien Guts articulation is limited, but you'd be surprised in how many poses you can actually get this figure in, so it's still a great range here. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, Alien Guts is fantastic. Starting from the top, we have Alien Guts' massive head. The head has an off-white paint app. As we move towards the back of the head, we can see Alien Guts' signature intricate pattern begin. The pattern is etched into the head, giving it a unique look and a textured feel. As we reach the back of the head, the white paint app transitions to a sky blue paint app. We have two curved yellow accents coming down from the top of the head. The eyes have a very interesting sculpt. Around the eyes, we have spiked sky blue accents and grooved matte black accents. The eyes themselves are small and translucent with a emerald green paint app. I really wish they could have done something to make the eye stand out a little bit more. The beak has a simple rounded sculpt with a lighter blue paint app. The inside of the beak is unpainted, which is kind of unfortunate there. The waddle has a nice fleshy sculpt with a flesh red paint app. Moving out to the chest, we have some more very interesting sculpting going on. Around the collar area, we have sharp accents with matte black and metallic teal paint apps. If you look closely, the teal parts of the body have a scaly sculpt. In the chest and abdomen, we have large white arrow-like accents. The shoulders have a large sculpt with various creases and folds. The arms have a bulky sculpt with some slight creases and folds. The forearms and claws have a great sculpt with a fleshy red paint app. The nails seem to have a teal paint app. If you look closely, the nails on my figure look like they're a little bit unfinished. Now I'm not sure if that's intentional or it's just kind of an unfortunate mishap. The rest of Alien Guts' body has a muscular sculpt with a signature color pattern of blue, off-white, 
matte black, and metallic teal. For accessories, to much surprise, Alien Guts is pretty light. First up we have our Flying Eye Slugger Effect Part for Ultra 7. The Flying Eye Slugger Effect Part has a very smooth, sturdy sculpt. The base is transparent while the tip of the Eye Slugger is frosted. Around the end of the effect part, we have a few sharp points to really add to the motion of the effect part. The Flying Eye Slugger Effect Part attaches via a ball joint. Now, with the Flying Eye Slugger Effect Part attached, we can see Ultra 7 launch his Eye Slugger. For our second effect part, we have the Paralysis Ray. The Paralysis Ray is a nice semi-transparent blue with an energy surging sculpt. We can see some of the finer energy streams etched in. To attach, with Alien Guts arms in proper place, remove the hands, and then plug in the effect part. Now this can be a little tough when you're doing this for the first time. Make sure Alien Guts arms are straight and as close together as possible. Now, with the Paralysis Ray effect part attached, Alien Guts can stop Ultra 7 in his tracks. Now that we have the accessories out of the way, let's do some size comparisons. As a whole, Alien Guts turned out to be fantastic. The sculpt is very well done, the paint-ups are great for the most part, and Alien Guts is very poseable. The only major issue I have with this figure is the lack of accessories. I was really surprised to see we did not have any extra hands. The effect parts are great, but I still think we need more. One accessory they absolutely should have included is the crucifixion casing to trap Ultra 7. They'll probably make up for this with a web exclusive release. If they do, we need an extra set of hands, a transparent alien guts, that funny magnetic wheel, and definitely the crucifixion casing. In the end, despite this figure's shortcomings, I still highly recommend picking this figure up. Now, how much does alien guts cost? I imported my figure for $46, which isn't too bad at all. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. To see more SH Figure Arts Ultraman reviews or other absolutely fantastic reviews, click the links on screen right now. Be sure to follow me on social media, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe.